Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna see how fast I can do a dish. The reason why I'm saying that is, if you've ever been on Facebook and they show you like, they'll show you a recipe and it's just music and they go one teaspoon of this, two teaspoons of that, just stir it up, boom, put it on this, put it on that. And it's a minute and I think 26 seconds or something like that, it's about a minute and a half. Well, there was a uh, balsamic glazed steak roll up where it's steaks rolled in vegetables or inside and they glaze it with this beautiful topping and it's a minute and a half and they film it nice and tight and really quick and I'm like really how long does that really take to do so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna prep everything and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna time myself see my iPad back there the timer is going right now but we're gonna reset it and when I start cooking I'm gonna leave it in the shot for you and you can kind of see how long I've I've taken to make this dish. All right, what do we have? I have some steaks that I'm gonna pound out like they showed you. Get them really thin, we're gonna roll them up with some zucchini, orange, red, and yellow bell pepper, some onions. You can use rosemary or thyme, I'm doing a sprig of thyme, uh, brown sugar, balsamic, and here is the broth, the garlic, and the red wine. I've prepped all my veggies. They're gonna go in here, we're gonna sweat them. This is everything to make my glaze. I'm gonna put it in here and we're gonna reduce it. Then over here is where we're gonna brown the end result after we uh, twist it up and put the vegetables inside the steak. Here, while everything's cooking, I'm going to tenderize the meat and flatten the meat out with the meat tenderizer. We are going to do this, let's just do it right now. There we go. All right, let's put in all our ingredients because we know we're gonna be reducing it. Garlic. We'll put in a little bit of, a little bit of thyme, red wine, brown sugar. Make sure it all comes out. Beef broth, balsamic. Just want to show you the timer real quick. I'm gonna try and keep that in the shot at all times. We're in a minute and a half already. So that's the end of that video that I'm trying to emulate. All right, we're. We got this thing sizzling. I got the oil over here, so we're gonna start sweating those vegetables right now. All right, so timer's there. Let's get the meat pounded out. All right, we're at six minutes and 34 seconds. Vegetables are starting to get sizzling. The reduction is reducing. So I trimmed up the meat a little bit. Now I'm gonna season them. I'm gonna need oil in my pan, so I might as well put it in now while I'm just waiting. Moving the vegetables around a little bit. They seem about done. Okay, I'm gonna put the skillet here while I'm still reducing my, oh, bring it over. Put the skillet over here, I'm letting it cool and I'm gonna Prepare this next. While it's at 13 minutes, I'm gonna pull my sprigs out and then just keep, keep an eye on it. It's reducing very well. When that's done, so I'm gonna turn it up to make, make it go faster. When that's done, we get to move on over to the other, to the meat and get started on that. It's 16 minutes and 30 seconds and I'm gonna start taking my, my reduction. I'm gonna start brushing it onto the meat Going to grab some vegetables, start putting it in one of the steaks, some onions, some peppers, putting them all in here like this. Okay. We're going to take the meat, going to roll it like this, bring the, bring this part over. I'm going to stab it through with a toothpick. Okay. When I'm done, I'm gonna bring it over to this pan here and place it in. There we go. Whoops, 19 minutes and 21 seconds. Sorry about that, I lost the timer there for a moment, but it's been continuously going. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this, I get a plate, we're gonna cook all sides. Put it like that. Just keep rotating them and cooking them completely. Okay, we're at 22 minutes 
and continuing to rotate the meat. Okay, this one's done, I'm taking it off. Putting it right here. Okay, we're down to two. Got one on a plate, it's waiting. I'm at tw coming up on 25 minutes. I kept the timer running, but it's okay because I'm still reducing this a little bit more. I want this to get a little thicker, just a little bit. Just brush this right onto the meat. I didn't get the toothpicks out yet. Silly me, but I will in a minute. Just want to keep these moist. There we go. Rotate this one so it stays rolled. Take the third toothpick out. All right, now. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't lick my fingers. That was dangerous. I'm literally gonna just keep brushing this. Looking good? All right. I'm calling it. Stop. 29 minutes right there. There it is. Balsamic glazed steak rolls with zucchini and onions and bell peppers on the inside. Here we go. We're going to cut this. We're just going to cut a piece right down the middle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Does that look cool? Amazing. So honestly, how long did you think it would take me to make this, huh? Realistically. So when you're on Facebook and you see these great recipes that take a minute and a half, they don't take a minute and a half. They're taking like 30 minutes. I did this in 29 minutes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's great. That's a great reduction. That is a great, um, you could even cook it down more. If you wanted like a syrup, you gotta be real careful not to burn it though, okay? So go down as much as you want, bring those flavors together and just brush it on your steak. There it is. That's um, balsamic glazed steak roll. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.